So, Elon, um, a few hours ago, you made an offer to buy Twitter. <laughs> why? <laughs> why, why? Why make that offer? Oh, so, um, well, I think it's very important for uh, there to be an inclusive arena for free speech, uh, where all, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Um, Twitter has become kind of the de facto town square, um, so uh, it, it, it's just really important that people have the, both the, uh, the reality and the perception uh, that they are able to speak freely within the bounds of the law. Um, and, you know, so I, one of the things that I believe Twitter should do is open source the algorithm um, and make any changes uh, to people's tweets, you know, if they're emphasized or de-emphasized, uh, that action should be made apparent so you can, anyone can see that that action has been taken. So there's, there's no sort of behind the scenes um, manipulation, either algorithmically or manually. Um, yeah. But <clears throat> last week when we spoke, Elon, um, I asked you whether you were thinking of taking over. You said, no way. You said, I, I do not want to own Twitter. It is a recipe for misery. <laughs> everyone will blame me for everything. What on earth changed? No, I think, I think everyone will still blame me for everything. <laughs> yeah. If, it, something, if, if, if I acquire Twitter and something goes wrong, it's my fault, 100%. <laughs> I, I think there will be quite a few errors, uh, yes. Um, it will, it but, will be miserable, but you still want to do it. Why? I mean, I hope it's not too miserable, uh, but... <laughs> Um, I, I, I just think it's important to the fun like uh, it's, it's important to the fun function of democracy. Um, it's important to the function of uh, the United States uh, as, as a free country and on many other countries, and to help actually to help freedom in the world uh, so, more broadly than the U.S. Um, so, and so I, I think it's uh, it, it's a. You know, I think there's, there's the, the risk, civilizational risk uh, is decreased if Twitter, the, the more we can increase the trust of Twitter as a public platform. And so I, I do think this will be somewhat painful, and I'm not sure that I will actually be able to, to acquire it. Um, and I should also say the, the intent is, is to uh, retain as many shareholders as is allowed by the law in a private company, which I think is around 2,000 or so, so we'll, it's, it's not like, a, a, it's definitely not, not from the standpoint of let me figure out how to monopolize or maximize my ownership of Twitter, uh, but we'll try to bring along as many shoulders as, we, right. as we're allowed to. You um, don't necessarily want to pay out 40 or whatever it is, billion dollars in cash, you'd, you'd like them to come, come with you in, in, in the yeah, new but it's, it's, I mean, I mean, I could technically afford it. Um, I, I heard <laughs> that, I heard that. Um, but, 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 but it's, but I'm, what I'm saying is this is, this is this is, a, this is not a, a, a way to sort of make money, uh, you know. I think this is, it's just that I think this is, um, this could, uh, my, my strong intuitive sense is that uh, having a public platform that is maximally trusted um, and, 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 inc and, and broadly inclusive um, is extremely important to the future of civilization. But you've, um, you've described I, yourself. I, I don't care about the economics at all. You, okay.